and Dini has dismissed Lara on a couple of occasions this series. This is here in Guyana. Scoop this one to short cover. And then in Port of Spain, a loose drive by Brian Lara. Well taken by Jacques Callis at slip. And then again, in Trinidad, LBW adjudged by Empire Doctro. So three times in the series, he's dismissed Brian Lara and he's going to be looking for a fourth. Shot off the mark. Well driven. First boundary for Brian Lara. What a way to come off of the mark. Just wide a on. No, he has to get up and chase it. And if it doesn't reach the boundary, they could well run four. But it does. He's gone after this one as well. It'll go for four again. He didn't hit it all that well. Donald has his hands on his head. But Lara has decided to go after him, as he did so often in South Africa two years ago. 70 for three. Man, Lara seems to be using a bat to, with a, a new logo on it. You've seen the Lara bats, the 501 and the 375. Not so today. Ruboy, it says. Length bowling from South Africa. Oh, he's got an edge on that. It hasn't carried though. It's certainly kept it a little bit low. And it's racing away for four. End of the over. 102 for three. And he's not timed it very well. Got that very fine indeed. Goes all the way. So a boundary for Lara off the last ball of the over. 113 for four. And bat. Good shot. Very good shot indeed. That has found the gap. And no one moved. Again, the same gap, and I think it's the same result, but this time back foot. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Brian Laura. Edged, there's no third man, and that's going to run away. Just. Edged again, played down the third man this time. Is it going to go all the way? Whatever it does, it's Laura's 50, it does. And the crowd are on their feet. Warm applause for Brian Laura. He's had to work very hard and the crowd appreciate it. Thirty-one fifties now, Brian Lara. These guys are cutting off. Absolutely right, that's short, and that is a buffet ball. It's halfway down the track, and Brian Lara smashes it for four. The crowd are on their feet, it's end of the over, 140, four for four. Huh? Two runs it is. That's going to be four, I think. See, this is what happens with West Indian batsmen, two experienced West Indian batsmen who come back, one's got a great test record, one's got a so-so test record, but goodish. Once you give them momentum through bad bowling, then they're gonna, they're gonna take it away from you. They have enough ability. Once the ball is starting to run for them, it'll be difficult now for, for South Africa to stop the momentum. They've got to get one of them out. They'll not get it back again, bowling tight and defensive. 
See, the, the scoreboard will whistle round. About to start his 15th over, but he's very fit. Great shot. That is a terrific shot. Four runs. Well, you can see from that shot, not only the quality of the shot, but a man in form. His footwork was good. He rocked back, he was up high. Got it through. He's going to pick up a couple. Alan Donald is the chaser, and he's not chasing too hard, so it's going to go all the way for four. And Donald is definitely struggling here. So boundary off the last ball, the over. 170 for four. Got to pull things back. He's done it now. He wasn't deterred by his previous adventure down the pitch, which amounted to nothing. Down he goes again. Well, the two youngsters there, that's the key thing for me. 20-year-old at number three. Sawan, another young kid at number five. I'm sure that can't be right. Hooper should be up the order. 80-odd test matches. You can't be having 20-year-old kids do the hard job of batting at number three. I'm sorry, that don't look right. <laughs> 